is tuna good or bad for you but in this video we'll compare the pros and the cons of tuna to help you decide we will also talk about the healthiest type of tuna so stick around by the way my name is albert if you are new here and you want to optimize your diet to burn fat live long and feel awesome start now by subscribing okay is tuna good for you well one big benefit of tuna is that it's actually very nutritious it has a ton of vitamins and minerals one little can of tuna already gives you more than enough of niacin and b5 and b12 for the day it is also very rich in vitamin d that everyone lacks it has a very good amino acid profile for example much better than beef does meaning that if you are a high level athlete or a bodybuilder for example Tuna will help you build muscle better than beef well. Tuna tastes really good and it's also very high in zinc, iron, magnesium, potassium and it's low in omega-6. But one negative of tuna is that it's also low in omega-3. It actually contains pretty much no omega-3. Canned tuna is also very high in histamines. Now we all have this histamine threshold somewhere. Now you may have heard of histamine intolerance but that is not what I'm talking about because only like 1% of people have it. But we all have this histamine threshold. And when we cross the line and we eat too many histamines, we will get side effects from that. For me, it's headaches and it's nausea. Unfortunately, canned fish such as sardines and tuna are very high in histamines. Now, this is not a problem if you go for non-canned tuna because this one has almost no histamines. Another negative though is that most tuna is farm-raised so it has a lot of hormones and antibiotics in it. And a huge problem I see with tuna and other big fish is, you guessed it, mercury. The bigger the fish, the more mercury that it has. And tuna is big and mercury is a heavy metal that is very toxic in our body and it will cause damage to our brain and to our cardiovascular health and to everything tuna also contains other types of heavy metals such as aluminium arsenic and lead now with lead the issue only occurs if it's sold in can because the can is made of lead and it leaches into the food and i read that they add this extra layer to protect this from happening so lead might not be a problem anymore but microplastics are becoming bigger of a problem every year because the ocean is getting more and more polluted with microplastics and these do get into the fish that we eat this is not a big problem yet but i believe that until 2030 which is very close this will be a big problem. Another issue that I find with tuna, at least the canned one, is that they add oils to it. And those oils are not good for you. It's not your extra virgin olive oil. At best, it will be a refined olive oil. But most of the time, it's either sunflower or canola oil. So if you do choose to go for tuna, you wanna go for the one in brine. And another thing that I hate about canned tuna is the iodized salt that they put it in. Now, I have no problem with salt in general. I just have problem with highly refined salt, which iodized salt is. Iodized salt also contains a lot of lead. It contains a lot of aluminium, a lot of cyanide, bleach, and you simply don't want to consume this one. Tuna also lacks creatine, but you can supplement with it. But tuna is not even cheap. For example, sardines that are much healthier are also much cheaper so why not eat these instead so all things considered tuna is in my opinion bad for your health but if you don't want to give up on your tuna or you are a high level athlete the type of tuna that you consume matters a ton here the most common ones you will find on the market are either bluefin yellowfin big eye albacore or skipjack big eye is the worst it's the highest in mercury bluefin is very often farm raised so you don't want that one either and it's also very high in mercury by the way and yellowfin is also very high in mercury albacore is also sold as white tuna and it's also very bad for you also very expensive so you don't want albacore either and skipjack is fattier it is cheap and it is the lowest in mercury so whenever you can go for skipjack now what is your opinion on tuna let me know down in comments if you like this type of videos 
Make sure to check out the whole good or bad series somewhere here on the screen. It's free. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.